Yes, as we announced earlier on our various social media handles, is Mr. Oh, you can't be honorable, you know. Okay, order. Honorable to ye our logo, a media impresario, media guru who owns tall and wide company, Spirit of Nigeria Radio. Uh, he worked in different capacities with former governor of your state, Senator Abiola Adeyemi Adjimobi. Uh, he was actually the commissioner in charge of the Ministry of Information, Culture and Tourism during the second term of the deceased former governor. Of course, I must not forget to mention that he attended the great Lagilu Grammar School in Bado. Sempa Optimum. Always the best. Ah. Uh, uh, my, 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 the top strike, I know, but I didn't see, you know, I don't chance uh, be like the look at my school here. I'm a uh, development scholar, I saw you to know, two years ago, you know, that, um, all that could do. I did you watch one, call it, Mishiso, eh, I like me, eh, sure, I be honorable to you, you are welcome to this show, sir. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, uh, it's uh, good to be back here uh, after a couple of years. Uh, 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 glad to also be sitting down with you, uh, Inka, today. And um, I think you should also tell your listener out there that uh, I think I'm one of the progenitors of uh, this radio program. <laughs> we thank God. Uh, uh, <laughs> because the whole inspiration came from God and through some people. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. Aru, as we, as we call him, yeah. Just move, move the idea one day. You people, start something on radio. And of course, I will give God all the glory. And I thank God we public thank here today. I keep it over long, 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 long. So on behalf of management and of Splash 105.5 FM, I welcome you again. Uh, we appreciate your being here. We will not take this uh, spirit of camaraderie for granted. We appreciate. We really appreciate. Uh, you are here with us today and it makes it the fourth a fourth or fifth uh, son of a prominent Nigerian that will be having back to back here. There's one show by what do you mean? Are, are yes. we not lucky? Mm, because your dad too was a commissioner in this state and you are here with us too. Uh, yes, almost uh, five back to back. I will thank God. Uh, when you became a commissioner, how did you feel? Yeah, because I know he was still alive that time. Mm. Well, uh, I think it's the only one who could describe how he felt. <laughs> well, but I think for for every for every father or every parent, okay. the prayer is that um, your son does better than you. Okay, call and, uh, yeah, okay. Having achieved that position, I I believe that the uh, pressure or the onus is on me to do better than my father. Yeah, but how did you feel that ah, my father was a commissioner? I'm a commissioner too in this same state. He didn't really. Come. Well, he was commissioner in the old or just the bigger or just the your state is your state. I know. <laughs> so you want to start uh, doing... Uh, no, what, uh, what I'm saying is this. I uh, think for, so for, it was a bigger commissioner. <laughs> yeah, and he went around three, he went around three ministries, to be precise. Okay. And um, I think a few more similarities. You know, it was with information, and I was uh, also information. information okay. And I dare say also uh, that during his tenure, uh, he was especially during the tenure with uh, Governor Adisa, Okay. Even on television, when um, questions were asked, he would say, "Hello, be low And I think, and I think that also happened to me while I was working with uh, Governor Akinbo. Yeah, in, in terms of, um, let me say, competence and trust. Mm -hmm. Okay, when your principal believes in you and he says, "Okay, look, this guy is going to do the job. He's going to get okay. the job." And I'm saying this with all it sense of see. modesty, uh, because it's my Number one advice for anybody that is going into politics and governance, make sure you have a first address. Yes. It allows you to say the truth. It allows you to be confident before your principal. It allows you to give advice without, Freely, any, yes, without any, any thinking of losing your yeah, job. You can or confront the principal. We are, we are with, quite confront yes. him with superior you know, argument. He will even ask you. He will say, give me a superior argument. Uh -huh. uh, and you know, when people don't understand. Sometimes they see it as arrogance, they see it as favoritism, they see it as favoritism. Yeah, but never mind. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, uh, <laughs> of course, you know, so in that wise, I would say yes, you know, but like I was going to say, it's better that um, if your father was commissioner, it's better you go higher than a commissioner. 
Mm. So, <laughs> that's the challenge. You must yeah. surpass you so, know, your, yeah, your yeah. father. So, so that, meaning that's that the one of your children too will come and become commissioner here too. No, I don't know about that too. <laughs> that's if they're even did that, that did, he, did he used to give you pep talk? Oh yes. Uh naturally you would also seek advice. Okay. Okay. And, and I remember, uh, in all fairness to the late governor Jimobi, when he called me and told me that he was gonna make me Commissioner for Information, Culture, and Tourism. And I quote him, when there's a bit that you know to share it, so I'm getting two for the price of one. <laughs> that's what he told me nice that one. day. I, that's, that's what do, Governor Jimobi Do you know, me. many people do not know Governor Jimobi. I would quickly say this, I'm sorry, I, 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 I got somewhere and somebody was telling me, telling me about a, a particular day that it may be, okay, that he was going through the list of commissioners inside the ESCO meeting was going on and he discovered that there, there were too many Christians. Then he now started picking names. So you are Ulogu, what is your uh, you are a Muslim? You said no. Hmm? Uh, that you are a Christian now. Then he now said, Are you doing or something? No, I, 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 I think <laughs> the true story is this. Um, the, the, I Muslim, picked about no, four of you. the Muslims were complaining that there were too many <laughs> the Christians, Christians in the cabinet. Okay. Okay, and it's it's not the first time. I mean, they do that uh, regularly. Okay, and he said to them, "But Muslim ni governor." Okay, he said, "Okay, just say commissioner, can or Christians come governor?" They said no. Uh -huh. But I think in his typical, you know, the governor he just will say to you, "No, he will tell you that I'm a master of intrigues." Hmm. Yeah, I, I used to say that a lot. So what he did was for those of us who are born Muslims, okay, and had converted to Christianity, okay, he reverted. Uh -huh. Our names officially. <laughs> so I was, for example, Lukma Toye Arulo. Oyewumi was Ra Abdul Razak Oye okay. Oyewumi. Is that if you put the name? There is one, uh, my sister, uh, um, Atinuke, Sinifat, Atinuke uh -huh. Oshikoya, and on and on and on <laughs> like that. Then after he cracked the Joshua, he put the balance in. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a nice one. That yeah, was a nice yeah. one. So it, it, it was such a very sharp and witty individual mm. that mm. you know in any situation he would ask you how do you solve a problem hmm. is it that you recontext you dissolve hmm. you know or you solve it hmm. okay so i think that was one of those ways he tried to recontext the issue of too many muslims uh sorry too many yes too many christians, christians in the cabinet as against muslims mm. nice one and uh, well I, I would love to get our people on facebook um those of you watching us on facebook it's splash 105.5 fm i'm trying to just go through some of the names but i'll get it later we need to go on this desmond we need to go on this very very short break but by the time we're coming back aru will be talking about himself i want to know who aru logo to yaru logo is in about two or three sentences nothing more than that We'll be right back. The program is still Parrot Extra on radio. A Yekuto on radio. We need to go on this short break. We'll be right back. Thank you. You're welcome back. The program is still Parrot Extra on radio. Uh, for those of you who uh, we, we appreciate if you join us on Facebook and you can see us, we are streaming live on Facebook. Splash 105.5 FM. I just click on that and you see us you see our guest our celebrity guest with his pillar like that one of uh, emergency so are you back? when before we left uh went on that break i asked him to describe himself in about two or three sentences so that we can move away from that i want to deduce something from that and i'm sure it will not disappoint you listener there and uh, we will not destroy the, the, the uh, disappoint me too Aru Logun, we used to call him Aru, and we are still calling him Aru Baba. Oh yes, I mean that, that's good enough. I mean Aru is Aru. Even my kids call me Aru, so <laughs> <laughs> you know. But um, how do I describe myself? I think um, the easiest way I can say is that um, let me put it this way: my name is Toya Aru. Logun. I come from a family of warriors. Right, and indeed, Arulo Gumbi, yes, and Papa Lai, like she's so much she didn't see no joke, you say, you call me any moko. As you broke, she is, she can't tell her money. It happens to every Ababa, Ababa, Jabu, Jabu, you know, you didn't yet away. I walk in, Banconi, you will go be in your day. Hm, Kamali so tall, hm, our man so tall. Hm, Cherry, problem, Tani in Nigeria. 
the biggest problem with Nigeria is Nigeria is not a nation of consequences. Mm -hmm. Go anywhere in this country, every sector. The biggest challenge is that we are not a nation of consequences. Can you, can you, the can moment you we become, on that? Yes, the moment so that we become a understand. nation of consequences, things. Okay, if you go abroad, what is the big deal? You know that you cannot drive one way. Yes. You know that you cannot take bribe. Yes. Okay? And there is also the infrastructure to support it. Okay. How do you, okay, I, I like to watch a lot of uh, crime television, okay, crime and investigation. Everywhere has a CCTV. Mm -hmm. You know, your 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 plate number is an identification mm. number. It can lead you onto so many things. Mm. I've seen a crime where it is the button, the button on the jeans trouser that they used to catch the person that committed the offense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're still in Nigeria, do you get you know uh, a jail term or do you get a pat on the if back? If you kill in Nigeria, yeah. do you or you are killed, do they exactly. solve So these are the issues. Our our justice system. Mm you know allows us we are still to coming to that we are still coming to that yes. we are still coming to that and i want to ask you before we even proceed further i want to know today as we are talking is aru a politician is he into partisan politics today no certainly not certainly not but, but without <laughs> any fear of equivocation or any contradiction at all i am a card carry member of the apc okay but you are not really yeah, and it's unfortunate, really, and it's not something I probably should be saying with pride, and I'm not saying with pride, because a lot of us have abandoned ship, okay. and yet we keep complaining. Okay. You cannot make a change from outside. You're yes. going to be right in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I feel, you know, my wife tells me this most times, that I, I don't know really what you're doing here mm -hmm. in Lagos. Mm -hmm. you, know? you should be right in the thick of it. After spending seven, eight years in politics and governance in your state, you should be there. Mm -hmm. But I have so why reasons. you not there? Yes, I have my reasons because okay. Can you politics is a, is, is a game of betrayal. Hmm. Is a game of lack of trust. Hmm. Is a game of eye service. Hmm. Is a game where you are not yet a governor. They are calling you excellency. You are shaking hmm. your head. I can't, I, do, I can't do. I can't do. I can. Mm -hmm. You know. So uh, uh, back to the kind of person I am. You know what I mean. Hmm. I, I shoot from the hips. So I don't hmm. have you know any inhibitions about. If you are doing it wrong, we do it I, wrong. If you are doing it right, I'd be and it's, pardon me. This is the same reason, and that's why you know former governor Jimobi and I we shared a lot in common. He used to tell me, "Toba Niger boy arulo buye." Hmm. Okay, so that's why we have that kind of synergy. Hmm. I could say to him, Your Excellency, be tell lawyer, you are bad at law, see, Don't tell me that. I'm the governor. You don't tell hey, me what you hear. I say, Oga, he no lo jumbe early, and I won't follow him downstairs. When he gets to the car, he will call. Hello, Paru, lo guanjibo lo muwa lo si be don't need not to do. I say, Excellency, me will tell you. I buy that there. Why you take a lot change? It's not. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So you should be able to speak truth mm -hmm. to power. You should be able to advise your principle. Mm -hmm. You know, so. The challenge is that in, in politics there are too many, you know, things that are not true, that are not mm -hmm. real, just for you know the the the, the pecuniary gains. Yes, yes, know, yes. Hey, so people cannot say the truth. People yeah. just you know. And I'm not saying that anybody is perfect, okay. And I'm not saying that it doesn't even happen in private sector. But I'm just saying generally. So I decided to, you know, step back a little. Once my opinion, you know, is sought, you know, on certain issues, yes, I. I, I contribute, I give them my own pieces of advice, but certainly not in the thick of it because I cannot be surrounded by mm. psycho fans. Psycho fans like I cannot sit down at the meeting and people are saying what I know that is a lie. Like, I keep quiet. I, keep quiet. I will not sleep well. And be gloating over. Yes, yes. So, so anyway, a lot of that happens. Now that we are talking about your former boss and brother, oh, of course, and no. our former senior, <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to ask you this. Mm. How will you honestly describe him? I know you mentioned one or two uh, virtues, but how will you put? I want, I want, I want, I want you to. Uh, maybe, maybe. What you stood for is abilities and perhaps his peccadillos, and of course, uh, we all have shortcomings. But mm. uh, okay, these things yeah, in let's perspective, God, let's correct God. perspective. Yeah, let's let's thank God for the life of uh, late senator. Adela, it was his Adela, birthday Adela, Adela, last Adela, week. Adela, 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 Adela. last Friday, December 16th. Adela, 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 Adela. A lot of us would not forget. And, um, talking about him, honestly, is like writing a book. But let me just make it short. 
once I was asked to describe His Excellency, and I said that um, if you came to me to say Governor Jimobi had killed somebody with a gun, I will tell you, bring the cops, let me see it. If he's shot in the leg, I will say it's not Governor Jimobi. If he's shot in the arm, I will say it's not Governor Jimobi. If he's shot in the heart or in the head, I will tell you this is not a very deliberate man. Hmm. Very strategic. Hmm. A visionary. Hmm. Before you... I mean, somebody likes to control his environment. He doesn't like things to happen to him. He happens to things. Hmm. So, even when you start talking, before you get to where you are going, Governor Jimobi knows where you are, what, what you are talking about, and as an idea of what your conclusion was. Mm. So you got to, like he used to say, you, know, you got to speak with facts and figures. Mm. You are not talking like you say, motherhood statements. And we used to have a lot of jokes about that. But he was a very nice and decent gentleman. Mm. Um, somebody who you would say was a leader of men. Mm. And I tell you, Quickly and briefly, there are a few things that have happened in Nigeria's political landscape that if Governor Jimobi was around, I would say that it would not happen. Hmm. Let's start from, okay, we all know his family, <laughs> whether they like it or not, they would be missing him every day. Or your state APC is missing him. Huh? Hmm. The rift between Governor Ebe Shola and Ashura Dibola Ahmed Tinubu, if Governor Jimobi were alive, I could bet 90% we would have saved the day. He hmm. would not let it go that far. Vice President Yemi Oshibadu contesting against Aduagi Bolabe Tinubu at the APC primary. I'm saying so with all, with what I know, at least. Okay, let me put that one. 70% will not happen if Governor Joe were alive. I'm telling you. So, that's the kind of person he is. He, he, was, he was like a bridge builder. Hmm. And um, no matter what anybody says, like you have also said it, nobody is perfect. Okay, but indeed, I tell you, now we all miss him. Now we for, all, for, for, for various reasons. Well, now we all miss him. Columba, Fi, or Kewon. And last, Lost with Georgia, let us see. Desmond, I'm Palabo, and you know where my Lost with you, or she will let her face off. I took a shit. Yes, well, welcome back to the show. The program is still Parrot Extra on radio. Are you caught on radio? I guess it's Alaba. Toye, Arudoku, Aruba, Pa. Well, before we went on for that break, you were talking about late former governor Ajimobi. Uh, well, a lot of things have happened in your state. Well, the current administration, as we uh, most of the time, uh, our past administration did not do this, it did not do that. Now we were the commissioner for information, at least during the second term of uh, governor Ajimobi. Uh, you are, you want to pass one or two comments on this? All right, I, I think it would be. It's very apt for me just to summarize, you know, what I, my personal opinion is uh, in terms of this government, the current government. And I'll be very fair. I think they would have seen by now that it is easier, like the Americans say, to play Monday Night Quarterback, mm -hmm. which is, it's like you're watching television. You should have played it like this. You should have played mm -hmm. it like that. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to pass, man. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they see, <laughs> they see the, the bigger picture. All right, so that, that's one. The, the other comment that I have, because I don't want to begin to dissect, mm -hmm. you know, the government, to be unfair. Anybody will say, oh, what else do you expect Aru to say at a time like this? My piece of advice for the current government, and particularly the governor, is he should leave Governor Ajimobi alone. Ajimobi is six feet under. Mm -hmm. He should stop chasing Governor Ajimobi. It's like spitting on his grave. And if you ask me, it's very uncubernatorial. It's not charitable. Is a seat which you are sitting on. You don't desecrate that seat. So, when they ask the current governor questions, everything is the last administration, the last administration, the last. Even some of their press releases, when I see the headline, uh, Governor Maki Day reinstates something, something sacked by Ajimobi, you don't need it. And this is part of, you know, you don't need it. However, my final word is in the area of corruption. What posterity? has in terms of record in your state. And I'll take you three. Governor Bolaige did his term. No court case. Governor Lunoyo did his term. No court case. Governor Lamidi Adejino, no court case. Governor Rashid Ilanoja, 
court case discharged and acquitted. Governor Akala. Akala, court case discharged and acquitted. Governor Ajimobi, no court case till he died. And if he said, hey, maybe he died uh, too early, remember, Governor Biano, same day, he was arrested. So if you had any case, the current governor, Governor Shehimaki, they work in progress. Are there already allegations? Mm -hmm. So it's it's part of governance. People would always make allegations and talk about it. But this is what history will record for us. That's exactly what I've said. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, this current governor, we don't know where they're going to end up. Hmm. Okay? That, that's very critical. Because all the other ones that I've mentioned have done their terms and they have gone. Okay. Okay. So that's my own submission. So I, I when will... every time, you know, we hear a lot of these things, you know, you don't even need to make a big do about it. Just prosecute it to a logical conclusion or logical end, okay. rather than tarnishing the image of somebody who is six feet, feet below. Yeah, below. And I think, you know, we, we need to, you know, stop all of this uh, mudslinging okay. and all, all uh, this. Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we're we still talking that. about mudslinging. I yeah. want to ask you this because we are media men. I want to ask you, um, uh, because of politics, respected media men, Dili Alake, Bayo Nonuga, Nduka, Baibena, Ruben Abati, and even my former Oga, Dili Momodu, everybody, they, they are now slogging it out, everybody is uh, uh, throwing muslingers. Uh, what what lesson do we have to learn from this development? If you want to ask me my general opinion, they would not like it, mm -hmm. but it's something that is close to my heart. And I'll say it, because we are talking about Yekoto. Mm -hmm. All these people that you are talking about, they are journalists. With all due respect, they are not strategic communications people. Hmm. That's the honest truth. Journalists are quick to write. Yes. Strategists are quick to think. Hmm. There's a huge difference. With all due respect to the Honorable Minister, Fesos Kiyama, he doesn't need to be trading words with a daily Momodu on the pages. It, it, it's debasing. Hmm. No matter what we are fighting for. And there are many other ways, you know, than becoming very personal in your reportals or in, in your responses to some of the things that are coming from opposition. I think it's not a good legacy that they are, you know, leaving for upcoming journalists. Remember mm. now, everybody is a journalist. Mm, and that's right. why social media has become, you know, <laughs> Twitter is a street that I don't go to at all. I don't even know the site to Twitter. I don't go there. You know, But I'm just saying that for them as respected Mm. The practitioners, media, you know, or media icons. Let's mm. even call them icons. Mm -hmm. It's it, it's not you know it's it's very it's not a very elderly. Yes, it's, it's very uh, complimentary. If you ask very, me. Very, yes. Okay, our time is past, pen, but I must not leave this show today without asking you this very touch is touching me, touching my soul because like the Lu Grammar School uh, was recently involved. At least one of the, like the Lu Grammar School was said to be. One of the schools that have been delisted, delisted from this WIAC or whatever because of examination practices. practices. Yeah. How does this make you? How did it make you feel when uh, you first well, read okay. it? Okay, don't let us go personal. I know, you I know. Remember, I mean, like, you, 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 what what holistic what, what view one do you of have? Fifty. <laughs> <laughs> the question here is: What holistic view do you have about this? Look at hmm. You want me to go to areas just for about that, two or three sentences? No, you just want me to go to areas that I really do not want to go to. But if you want me to hit the nail on the head, mm. it, 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 this it, is it, Ayoko, talk. it is just a pity that the current administration has, you know, desecrated education to this level. Hmm. We're talking about 33 over 36. Are you not aware? We're talking about 50 schools being delisted, and people are still trading words. They should bury their heads in shame. Hmm. Okay. Look, schools governing board, one of the best things that ever happened hmm. to education in your state. I heard the governor say on radio that, you know, they, they canceled the school governing board because they were members, they were card carrying members of APC. Hmm. Certainly not. I can tell you that. Certainly not. And I have a long list of the members. Schools governing board was thriving in your state. It was working in your state. We had participation of old boys associations. Yes. Like the Grammar School 81 said, we knew how many people we, 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 we how many people were paid to train students and the results changed. Mm. It's there, fact mm. and figure. This is not story. The same thing for GCI, Government yeah, College of Of course, many mm. other schools. So what are we talking about? This is the result of the lack of strategic thinking and direction in taking education to the next level in your state. All right? Mm. Everything that Governor Jimobi did 
this new government scattered it, cancelled it, or repackaged it. And I can at least not do that at six years. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know? At least, you, you, I'm sure you're happy that the state's anthem was retained by the president. It, it doesn't system. matter. They can even change it. It's their turn and somebody else will bring it back. But that state anthem, or your state anthem, is too powerful to ignore. Yeah. It's like I a prayer. It's like a prayer. I'm always If you listen right. to it, it's uh, like a prayer. Ashiwaju niwa. No, but I mean, look, listen. And it's also like a prayer. But are we doing this today? Uh, they are just singing it now. They, they are not imbibing <laughs> the spirit but of it's the not letters. Only, it's not only the government. No. You and I. Leadership. Are... Leadership is bad. Followership is bad. That's what we are talking about. Leadership is bad. Followership is bad. That's my Shungbo. Mm. It's not just in, uh, and I'm talking globally now <laughs> as a country, uh -huh. you know, uh, because, <laughs> and that's why, like I said to you, and when you said you should just, I should describe myself, there are some of us who are trained, who are brought up in the right way of doing things. Yes. Okay. There is no way you'll be a son of Adebo Egarulogun to Nirochi Omeniti Wanshe. With all my rascality, when I get home, delete memory. <laughs> But I not to be. Oh, no, that is even pass. I ye getting no, I ye getting no way. Because he 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 is very important. To battle love with him, to love with him, this kind of to back by the day, I'm a pardon of my gentleman or a gentleman. Ah, you So this is a mobile. No, social media is training our children. Social media. Yes, is training our families children. don't sit together again. Everybody with telephone in each room listening to music. Also leading to depression, which is an area that I, I know a little bit of. Since I left government, I've been doing a lot of work in mental health. Hmm. Well, Honorable Commissioner, I will you ask Commissioner you... Commissioner at your job. <laughs> 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 uh, what would you say was your greatest experience as a Commissioner in this state under Ajimobi? Hmm. Okay, L let me take it back a little. Uh, to I think last week Thursday, when the Ashobi Weavers and Marketers Association in Isai gave me an award, okay. you know, at this year's Ashobi Day, and it just reinforced my position that mm -hmm. you don't need anybody to lead you. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You need to take initiatives. Mm -hmm. Just like after leaving government, because of what we did. In uh, Asho Fide, Amalade, uh, Odu Beji, and all of those things. On a platter of gold, and please, I'm not being immodest, we got the Osho Shobo Festival. Mm. Uh, they built it to me. Your company? Yes. Okay. Because I have a first address. <laughs> <laughs> God will forgive no, God will go forgive us. No, I'm just saying <laughs> that, you know. ตุบาชิเชตอบาบุฟอตุบาชิดาดาวาเจริมเบ้เบ้นโอลองกาเบ้เซเลกซามปูคอนอินเตอร์เพรสโอเลกซามปูเพรสโอเลกเอลอดอ
Is it me? I'm a good one. But I want to see they want to make progress without going through the process. Hmm. So we are asking you, please. There is no elevator to the I top. Be not that one. Yeah, all the, you must climb the staircase. Benny. There is no elevator to the top. Because I put the alone up there. Because see, I'm a gun. I'm a gun. You're and then uh, you know about why they are telling you you don't want to lie. Emma, don't be jealous. Don't be envious of them. Hmm. Because Emma don't you know one? KBC. Ah, Emma don't you know one? Or don't you know her? Don't move so low. Thank you very much. To ye aru, to ye aru, aru lo bumbaba. God bless you for taking time out of no time to be here with us on this show. We really appreciate it. And Emma, don't you know me? I want to pay you a jewa. Semper Optimum. Semper, the, the spirit <laughs> of Semper Optimum. Uh, <laughs> so it's on this note that I will just be signing out. Timila Impasho, thank you very much for backing me up. Mm, however, for further comments on, on issues relating to this show, you can send messages to 0805-500-1736. 0805-500-1736. too we want to, even if they want to ask you further questions or they want to reach you for any reason, you leave a message. A, a, your I've number. always left my number. Oh, yeah, they know my number. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Drop, that, it uh, Drop it again. Drop it again. 0803 Let us see. Let us see. 0803 307469. So, next week, I say, God bless Nigeria, God bless us all. I'm out of here. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs>